Hi, this is the PHP My Admin Tutorial Part 1. I would love to speak about this program. This is a web based program to manage your database. Here you can see this is a database into it. You could add several databases if you have the privilege, but you must have a privilege to create a database. You can see here if it's in a red error message, you won't able to create one, alright? But you could choose it here if it's available. Let's click here and you can see the tables which is in the database code PHP code. Your database has another name, of course. Alright, this is the list. This, these are the tables. You could browse one of them and you can see the structure of a table. Table means it has several fields for example ID, email, name, message, date, time you could browse it if you click here or you click here nice there is no data in table 5 let's create a new table and I show you what kind of field types are available create a new table on the database PHP code let's add the name for example test 6 and add how many fields will be in for example 5 and this is a site to add values uh, sorry field types, field name, field options into your table. For example, field name is a name. Field name is an email. And so on. You could add field names here. In this column, you could choose a type. For example, if you add an ID field into your table, you could add an integer type an integer type hasn't got a value sorry length so you didn't need to add the length but if it's an ID field which for an identification of your table you could add an auto increment and the primary key option and let's go through the third one for example telephone the phone All right and if you choose a worker type one of these fields you could add a length Worker has a limit from 0 to 255, so you could add the maximum value. And add, uh, for example, a message or about me field, which must have a longest text from 255 you could choose another type which is long text and you didn't need to add the length because it hasn't got a top limit and let's go to the fifth which is a date time 
today time field to insert the correct time and the date when this row registered and datum long text and integer hasn't got a length you must add here they have they has a length but you won't add here all right and another option which is the default value you could add default values here for example message if you won't add a value it creates a default one for example message here or or missing and you could search from the table those rows when the message field has a value which is missing All right and let's add another option which is the collocation it's a coding of the texts I don't know where you live but you could watch Google for an offer which text coding is yours mine is Latin general serial or Latin 2 Hungarian serial let's choose this alright let's save it but oh my god this is a message an error message which tells me that message the field could not able to have a default value and as you can see this is an SQL query which creates a table so I could create a table without choosing all these values and pro and properties I could delete this part which sets the default value of the message field alright and let's go and what happened your query has been executed successfully alright and when it happened test 6 appears here in a normal way let's refresh and here it is this is the structure I added here and in the part 2 I show how could you insert or delete update these fields bye bye and let's see the part 2